Hey, you can see me. Hello, Pipers. Eddie Gray here, Haunted Tank 75. I uh, wanted to do a quick video of uh, kind of the reasons why I got into pipe smoking in the first place, or why I made the switch um, from cigars to pipes. Mm -mm -mm. One is the taste and the variety of pipe tobaccos. Um, so easy to uh, uh, just kind of gloss over this, but you know, cigars have different strengths. Um, some cigar leaf tastes different from others, but really, I mean, to me, they're really so similar. I mean, to my mind, if you smoked one cigar, you pretty much smoked them all. I, I might get bad feedback about that, but that's just the way I felt about it. Um, but with pipe tobacco, you've got so many different kinds of pipes, so many different kinds of tobaccos, uh, different types of blends, different strengths of blends, different kinds of uh, flavorings for the aromatics. You can get straight Virginias, you know, straight Burleys. Or you can get blends with seven different kinds of tobaccos in it. And, uh... I mean, there, there's just so much variety there that you can't get with cigars. Uh, another thing is cigars are very temperamental. They're very hard to um, keep at just the right temperature and just the right humidity level. Um, you know, you have to worry about a lot of stuff with cigars that you don't necessarily have to worry about with pipe tobacco. You put it in a mason jar, keep it out of direct sunlight, and you're good to go. I'll let that get cold. Let me relight here. Smoking uh, eBay find from a few months back. This is an Alexander Canadian uh, sandblast. And I probably the sandblast won't come out too well in the video but man it's a pretty good sandblast um, it's my first sandblast uh, in my collection and my first Canadian in my collection and I really dig it it smokes really well uh, I like the uh, kind of pitted ridged up top I tend to go for um, rusticated looks sandblast looks um, ugly sticks so to speak my wife's like, there are pretty pipes in the world. Why do you get these ugly pipes all the time? But to me, I mean, this is a, I mean, I just really like the look of these types of finishes. <laughs> Let it go out again. So, um, anyway, I'm smoking uh, Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding, which has about six different kinds of tobacco in it. I really dig it. Um, it's not a lot of key, a lot of Kia bomb which I'm not fond of, uh, but it does have Latakia in it. And, um, man, I would think, the first time I smoked it, I thought, man, this has got to have some sort of uh, topping or casing on it. I don't think there is. I haven't read any indications that there is. It's just a, a really well-balanced blend um, that's really flavorful. So, back to why I switched um, from cigars. When I used to smoke cigars, I would smoke like a Churchill or whatever. Sometimes even a Robusto. And uh, by the time I was done with that cigar, I had a headache. I mean, my head would just be throbbing. I stunk. I mean, it, it tastes good when you're smoking it, but golly, I would stink. And I would stink all night. And I shower in the mornings, so I would stink through the night into the morning. My wife would complain about it all the time. Sometimes she wouldn't even let me get near her, depending on the cigar that I had smoked. And uh, I kind of got tired of that because I'm an affectionate guy, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, 
I was trying to find lighter and lighter cigar, you know, milder cigars, and uh, just nothing would work. The wife always hated cigar smells, and it lingers on you so bad on your fingers and your clothes. Uh, I would wake up the next morning with a cigar stench in my mouth, even though I had brushed my teeth and used mouth rinse. It's like that stuff clings to you. Um, but I noticed on the occasions that I would smoke a pipe, that wouldn't be the case. A lot of times I would burn the crap out of myself, out of my mouth, you know, tongue bite and all that. But, fresh from smoking a pipe, I could go inside, wash my hands, uh, swish with water, and pretty much the pipe smell would be gone in five to ten minutes. Even some of the stinkier pipe blends, more the stronger pipe blends, um, uh, they're pretty much gone from you in half an hour. And they definitely don't linger to the next morning. Um, maybe some of the dark-fired Kentuckys, <laughs> but that would be about it uh, from my experience. So I noticed that fairly quickly that... Uh, you know, the wife doesn't mind uh, the pipe smell as much. I'd come inside, give her a hug, and she wouldn't push me off of her and be like, Get away from me! So uh, that was a plus. So I got to doing some serious thinking. And came to the conclusion that maybe great-grandpappy knew what he was doing. Um, so I bought me a $50 pipe, my first, you know, big money pipe, and, uh, you know, graduated from uh, drugstore pipes and basket pipes, and it was a Perinelli, and it was a fantastic smoking pipe. I could very much tell the difference uh, between that pipe and the five or six drugstore and basket pipes that I'd had before that. So, $50 has tended to be the sweet spot for me as far as a, a good, solid, good smoking, working man's pipe that typically looks pretty good too. Um, for instance, I got this one off of eBay for I think 50 bucks, and it's been a really good smoker so far. I've only smoked it three or four times. I tend to smoke my pipe two or three times a week if I'm lucky. Um, it is a time commitment. And uh, at this point I have about 50 pipes, so I haven't done the math on that, but to go through a, a rotation of all my pipes is going to take some time. Especially since I have my favorites that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, and I think I'll cut this one short, and I'll make a video about uh, my favorite pipes, uh, quality for versus value. Um, but that is a big deal for pipe smoking. Um, I will say it's cost me more <laughs> to get started in the hobby since I've gone crazy with buying so many pipes, but that's really not necessary if you're not a freak like I am. You can wind up with, you know, two or three good, solid pipes if you plan your work and work your plan and uh, get started in the hobby without spending, you know, an arm and a leg. And you don't have to have a ton of pipes or pipe tobacco cellared. Um, again, that's for people that go a little off the deep end like myself and yeah, it's really not necessary get yourself a few ounces of a good blend or an ounce of three or four different blends and see what you like buy yourself a good fifty dollar uh, pipe so watch for my uh, next video as far as that goes we'll talk about pipes and uh, I'll talk to you then Bye.